What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to dive in and review a product, and I cannot be more excited about reviewing. Of course, you guys know the thumbnail. It is the new Beauty Blender Foundation. Ooh. And also because my face looks really weird without foundation and my eyes halfway done. <laughs> so today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation, which is this right here. And I'm super excited to record this video for you guys. Super excited to try this baby out. And yeah, guys, so if you guys want to see my thoughts, wanna see how it applies, all the stuff in between, there's so many mixed reviews about this um, Beauty Blender Foundation that I was like, you know what, I really need to try it myself. And I was very excited um, that Beauty Blender gifted me these two foundations to be able to review for you guys. And I was like, oh my god, yes, this is like a dream come true. Because I love Beauty Blenders. Anyways, <laughs> so if you guys want to see my thoughts, how it applies, everything, all the nine yards, a honest raw opinion about this foundation no kissing ass no none of that first off hit subscribe right down there grab a snack and let's go ahead and watch all right so first off the bat they did gifted me um these boxes right here this is normally how the beauty blend the the actual foundation will come if you order it online on sephora.com it will come like this in a nice box which i just thought that was beautiful um the box is this pink color, as you can see, and it has Beauty Blender, it says Bounce, it says the name of the of the um, Bounce Foundation, it says called Bounce, and then in the top part, it has a sticker with the blend color number. Now, there is, let's go ahead and jump into um, what it reads off of Sephora about this foundation. All right, so apparently there's 36 shades, and I've heard I've seen so many mixed reviews about the foundation, how the color range is not good for people who are dark skin toned. People who are more like me, people who are very light skin are more likely to be able to find their true tone when it comes to this foundation. Now, I don't have, as you can see, I'm very fair, I'm very light skinned. Um, I don't have that problem when it comes to finding foundations because I see that a lot of foundation companies tend to have a lot of fair and medium skin tones, normally not dark. So apparently um, it was a chaos, there was a commotion going on because there was only like legit three deep tones and a 36 of shade foundation. So with that being said, honestly speaking, um, I feel like it sh they just launched this foundation I feel like they just launched the foundation and I feel like, um, you know, they're going to get the positives and the negatives and they're going to work on it. So I'm crossing my fingers that if it is a good foundation, they can come out with more range of colors for other people. I feel like people jump in the wagon with companies and they feel like they have to provide like right off the bat my wishes and honestly speaking you know beauty blender it's known for a tool it's not known for anything else but a tool a spongy tool that is everyone's best friend and i feel like everyone just came after beauty blender because of the dark shades and i totally understand people who are like dark skin be like yo there's this foundation that I want to try and I can't try because it's very hard for me to, it's, it, I won't get my color, which I totally understand it, but I feel like we can give, um, now that they received the, the negative feedback from it, I feel like they can definitely, hopefully, crossing my fingers, bring more shades so that everyone can actually find their shades and wear the foundation. So, so I was like, okay, so I'm giving you what I think about it. I feel like we could give, let's try to see if on the, if Beauty Blender comes out with more. They should because I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. I've also heard that the foundation, it's not true to its shade. Um, it oxidizes quickly. And if you have dry skin, it will definitely cause you to dry out. So I do have very dry skin, guys. My skin is super, super dry. Um, so I'm gonna definitely put her to the test and see if it dries out my skin to the point where people are just saying, ew, if you're dry skin, it's bad for you, don't use it. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test. 
So I got sent over uh, shade 3.35 and 3.40. So these are two shades. One of course is lighter than the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and try both of them and see which one is my shade. So let's just open the box. I just feel like packaging wise is so cute guys. Like I legit died when I received the package. So when you open her up, this is what she looks like. You have the um, actual foundation and then you have a beauty blender with the shade. So it matches, the beauty blender matches the shade of your foundation. So this is what she looks like. This is the little packaging. It says bounce. It's like a frosted glass as you guys all seen and then it has like the little pump in this side. Um, you can either open it here or close it so like that if you put it in your purse um, it doesn't like push up on something and then you have like a huge mess of foundation because it doesn't have a cap on like normal foundations do. So you kind of have like an on and off switch so which I thought it was pretty cool. and. They of course made it with the beauty blender um, shape, so you kind of probably use it as a like uh, like one of those spatulas where not spatula, but one of those like surfaces where you can put the foundation and then apply it straight to your face. But I'm the type of person that I like grabbing the foundation and applying directly to my face. The frosted glass, you kind kind of see a little bit of the color of the foundation. They kind of look a little similar to me, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to match. But if it is start with the 335 because it is a little bit lighter and I am at the moment light. It does look dark, to be honest, more dark than my skin tone. So let's see how we can make her work. It definitely does look darker. And that's the 335. The 340 will definitely be way darker. And I'm gonna prep my face really, really quick. I'm going to definitely, definitely go OD on moisturizing just because like I've heard that it you have dry skin is not good for you, so I'm going to OD moisture. We're gonna prime our face. All right, so I'm going to apply. So as I'm blending and stuff, I'm going to let you guys know what it claims it does. That it is a full full coverage foundation. Oh yeah, it is way darker than my skin tone. Way darker. Honestly speaking guys, um, it is very full coverage. Very full coverage. In case of your full coverage, it's for sensitive normal combination oily skin. Um, and the finish is matte. Yes, I can definitely see that it's very matte. Very, very matte. It's not heavy. Like I would think it would be heavy. It is not. It is definitely a very like whip, like a whip feel. It is not heavy whatsoever. But yes, it is very matte, guys. It's super matte. It is full coverage, but I feel like it could cover a little bit more, honestly. I can still see some breakouts. If I get close to my skin, I can still see the breakouts right here. I can still see some of my freckles and some of my beautiful imperfections to that area where I want more coverage and see how it covers it. It's nice, guys. It looks good. Definitely not for dry skin. So if you have dry skin, I highly, highly recommend prepping your skin very well. Let me go ahead and try out the 340. I'm pretty sure it's darker. Actually, guys, honestly speaking, there isn't any, there's not a huge difference from 335 through 340. I feel like the 335 looks darker than the 340. Is that even possible? All right, so 3.35 is a medium plus with warm yellow tones. And the 340 is a medium plus with warm red undertones. So it's the same medium plus, it's just different undertones. So I would have known that, I would have probably applied the 340 just because of my type of undertones. So as you guys can see, um, it is true to what they're saying. It's very, very hard to color match. It's very hard to find a true match. Um, so if I were you, I would wait till it gets to a Sephora store so you can actually have a good color match because the 340 and 335, it's not that the 340 is darker than the 3.35, the, the 3 it's just that they have different undertones. They're both medium plus, 
but the one has a yellow undertone and the other one's red undertone. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and see how everything sets and blends together and see how that works. Okay guys, so this is what everything looks together. I finish my eyes, I finish my face, and I finish everything um, with the foundation. I have to say, everything blended very nicely guys like everything blended very nicely um it looks super full coverage it looks super 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 like flawless guys honestly speaking i actually have dry skin so i am going to test it out during the day and see how it works um if it really really dries out my skin or whatever but i feel like everything is in the preps and as of right now i love how everything looks together um everything just kind of sets really well i feel like you can build a little bit more if you would like a little bit more um like coverage there was some areas on my face where i saw that um it wasn't um so full coverage i was like girl i to see my beautiful perfection you need to go in you need to hide these okay <laughs> so honestly speaking it is a beautiful foundation would i be using it again yes i definitely will as of right now um like i said i don't have problems with like my face um with products drying out through the day so i feel like i know that this is done i know that it's not gonna move so i feel like if you um set your foundation and all of that your foundation is gonna stay intact all day and it's not gonna move um i definitely see that it's a very matte flat coverage this one is like legit matte matte foundation whatsoever so i feel like if you have like oily skin i feel like this is gonna work great for you it's gonna be amazing foundation for you because it definitely um was very matte and all that the fact that um the ranges of colors are kind of iffy they're kind of weird um like it jumps from one number to the other one and like it you're like where's the in between where is it <laughs> there's no in between um or the fact that both number both shades are like equally the same but different undertones um that was kind of that kind of threw me off um like the only downside to this foundation that i can find as of right now is that the color variation honestly speaking um but i feel like like if people like it i love it honestly speaking i love the finish of it it looks just beautiful it looks flawless i love how everything came together um i feel like give them time and you'll be able to see more ranges because this is an issue that was going on a lot and i'm pretty sure they will definitely look into it and i know that they will do something about it anyways guys uh do you like matte finish foundation do you like a full coverage foundation do you like a sort of like a lightweight feel foundation on your skin then i will recommend trying it out um i feel as if right now online sephora.com they don't have like all the shades like they're mostly sold out but i feel like with this foundation don't buy it online that is what i can tell you don't go to sephora.com and buy your foundation you are definitely gonna um pick a color that is probably not gonna be your shade because the way that they made their shade ranges is kind of off for me so i feel like this is a foundation you would have to wait until it launches in store and have someone color match you so that is the only downside to these things um i feel like their rate their range on colors is not good i feel like um the color like it's like it's very hard to find your color so if you're gonna buy it i recommend waiting for them to hit stores hopefully they do hit stores because like i said it is very hard to find a shade the foundation ranges for 40 dollars um and it is a like one point fluid ounce so i feel like it's a standard what um foundations have honestly speaking if you like like i said if you like a lightweight long wear um full full coverage very matte foundation then you can pick her up like i said um i will wait until they get into stores hopefully they do have them in stores so you can actually get a color match on your skin the size is pretty decent it runs for 40 dollars, so it's not bad it's it's um honestly speaking um it's a high-end foundation so but yeah guys i really 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 like the foundation i have nothing bad to say about it besides the color range and um just besides the color um 
wheel on it and how to choose your foundation. It was, it's kind of like, oh man, I wish it was easier to pick a foundation or if you guys had more ranges. So, so I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have it. If you like it, if you don't, if you're planning on picking it up, let me know your thoughts on the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation down on the comment section below. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you don't go without hitting subscribe right down there. And as usual, all my social media sites are down below. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for your support. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.